Years ago, we cut cable to our house. Now we watch a lot of streaming video in our house, but we also watched TV via over-the-air antenna. Sometimes, however, this is the kind of picture we get from our now getting quite old antenna. Here it is, and it's it's pretty beat up, as you can see right here. It's It's been around for a while. So I got a new antenna. It's a pretty easy process to swap these out. I'm gonna show you how I did it. It's really quick and easy. You can plug these things into the coax jack on the side of your HDTV. There it is right there. However, I'm using what's called a channel master device. And these devices let you record over the air TV programs directly from the antenna. It's kind of like the old school TiVo devices from days of yore. And there it is. It's a very slim, very compact device. And I'm going to place the coax jack from the over the air antenna into the back of the channel master device. That smaller rectangular plastic thing on top of the channel master is the actual hard drive. That's where any recorded shows and programs are stored and you can store a lot of capacity in that thing. Here's the back of the channel master and that's the coax jack for the old TV antenna. We're gonna remove that and install this brand new TV antenna. Oh look, it's a brand name, WGGE. Yeah, I've heard of that. Oh, there's a shocker, it's made in China. Side note, if you're a manufacturer, make these in the U.S. I'll pay more to buy Made in USA. Just a, just a little tip. All right, here's the complete kit, if you will. Uh, there's the new antenna. There's the cabling. There's a power jack. Um, the old one didn't have a power jack. I guess now we have new, new technology. It requires power. Now this new antenna comes with both a coax jack and a USB jack. I'm going to use the coax jack. It's worked well for us before, so why not stay with it? I'll just pop the new coax jack into the back of the channel master device like so. Now if you don't have one of these devices, you're going to pop the coax jack directly into the back of your TV. The biggest challenge with these antennas is finding the optimal spot to get the best reception. And once you do that, then you can start scanning. Oh yeah, he sees a squirrel, I'm sure. Anyway, um, there's a lot of cable with this antenna, so there's a lot of room to work in finding a position. Now, I'm running the first scan here, and I noticed with the first scan, it didn't pick up a couple of the primary stations that we watch. So it's a matter of finding the best spot for the antenna, running a scan, finding another spot, running another scan. So it's a bit of a process. Anyway, scan complete, antenna placed in the right spot. And now we have a nice clear picture just in time for the big game. If you have a question, just ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe.